welcome to fastidious dopamine our today's video topic is sprain so let's see what is sprain sprain is basically the injury of ligament in which ligament tears or twists due to overextension ligament is the band of connective tissue which connects two or more bones together forming a joint causes of sprain there are three main causes of sprain awkward position lifting of heavy objects falling running jogging and even due to exercise firstly it comes awkward position awkward position means poor posture sitting or standing in poor position over extends the ligament this over extension tears the ligament leading to sprain for example bending twisting or forceful impacts on wrist will cause wrist sprain this wrist sprain can also proceed to carpal tunnel syndrome by compressing the median nerve in carpal tunnel secondly it comes lifting heavy objects lifting heavy objects with wrong lifting position that is bending back will increase the load on the back this will tear the ligament causing sprain Thirdly, it comes falling, jogging, running and exercise. Although the running, jogging and exercise are the activities that keeps the person active, but sometimes one may have to deal with injury. Running and jogging injuries are mostly caused by repetitive stress. During exercise, sometimes due to repetitive stress and overstretching injury occurs. Fall also causes sprain. During a fall, joint moves out of its normal range of motion. Joint overextends as a result, ligament overstretches, which results in tearing of ligament. Location There are four main locations where sprain occurs in the body that are ankle, wrist, thumb, and knee. Firstly, it comes ankle. Mostly sprains occur in ankle because during walking or exercise due to uneven surface. Secondly, it comes the wrist. In wrist sprain occurs due to bending, twisting or maybe due to fall. During a fall sprain occurs when a person lands on outstretched hand ligament tears as a result sprain occurs. Thirdly it comes sprain in thumb. In thumb sprains occur in racket sports like tennis, badminton, squash due to overextension of thumb. Mostly thumb sprains involve ulnar collateral ligament. When ulnar collateral ligament gets sprained, it becomes difficult for a person to grasp objects between index finger and thumb. Lastly, it comes knee. In knee, sprains occur during athletic activities due to rotation. There are four main ligaments in the knee that are firstly it comes anterior cruciate ligament that is present at anterior aspect of knee. Second one is posterior cruciate ligament that is present at posterior aspect of knee. And there are two collateral ligaments, number one medial collateral ligament and number two lateral collateral ligament. Here the diagrams are showing the injuries of medial collateral ligament and lateral collateral ligament which are impact of direct blow from opposite direction. Lateral collateral ligament injury occurs when a direct force hit from inside of knee joint whereas in the case of medial collateral ligament, medial collateral ligament gets injured when the direct force hits the knee joint from outside from its lateral aspect. Symptoms Symptoms of sprain are pain, swelling, bruising, limited flexibility, and difficulty while performing movements in full range of motion. Pain Pain is the unpleasant sensation caused by damaging stimulus. Ligaments contain free nerve endings, so when the ligament gets injured, sprain occurs and we feel a sense of pain. Another most prominent symptom of sprain is swelling. When the tiny blood vessels called capillaries leak the fluid due to any particular cause like injury, fluids start building up in the tissues resulting in the enlargement of those tissues which leads to enlargement of that particular area. This is known as swelling. It can be localized or generalized localized in the specific particular area or generalized in the whole body. As shown in the diagram swelling in the foot due to ankle sprain. In the case of sprain when ligament tears as a result of tear there is increased movement of fluid into the injured area and increased flow of white blood cells towards the site of injury which results in swelling of injured area. 
bruising bruising is the reddish blue discolorization of a particular area due to rupture of small blood vessels called capillaries in the case of sprain when ligament injures capillaries supplying the ligament rupture as a result is rupture blood traps below the skin resulting in reddish blue discolorized patch called bruise with the time blood loses its oxygen and changes its color respectively limited flexibility and difficulty in performing movement in full range of motion these two points are actually correlated as we know that ligament joins two bones together so when ligament tears it affects the joint flexibility decreases the joint flexibility by decreasing the range of motion treatment sprain can be treated in different ways that are rest ice compression elevation and surgery firstly it comes rest when ligament becomes injured there is a need of rest or we can say that injured part should be immobilized rest and immobilization will save the affected area from further injury and rest reduces the inflammation and aids the process of healing icing ice numbs the injured area and reduces the pain and inflammation ice should not be applied directly to the skin direct application of ice on skin may result in frostbite or it may reduce blood flow and deprive tissues from oxygen and result in ice burn so instead of direct application of ice on the skin wrap it in a towel and then apply it for about 20 minutes on the affected area remove it after 20 minutes for 20 minutes and then apply it again for 20 minutes and repeat it Next comes the compression. Compression reduces the swelling. In compression, the area is wrapped with an elastic bandage. This elastic bandage will compress the affected area and reduce the swelling. As shown here, ankle is compressed with bandage for treating the sprain by reducing the swelling through compression. Elevation. Elevation is lifting the body part above the level of heart. elevating the affected part will reduce the swelling and bruising and when the affected part is elevated some inches above the level of heart blood pressure in the injured part reduces and lowers the bleeding as we know that exudate accumulation results in inflammation but when the injured part is elevated this elevation reduces the blood pressure and bleeding this reduction in blood pressure and bleeding will increase the exudate drainage when exudate drainage will increase there will be limited exudate accumulation as the result swelling will reduce surgery surgery is prescribed in severe cases of sprain especially to the patients of grade 3 sprain basically there are three grades of sprain number 1 grade 1 sprain number 2 grade 2 sprain and number 3 grade 3 sprain grade 1 sprain grade 1 sprain is mild there is minimal tear of ligament and patient successfully recovers in one day grade 2 sprain grade 2 sprain is moderate and there is notable tearing of ligament and patient takes about 2 weeks to recover but duration varies from patient to patient grade 3 sprain Grade 3 sprain is the most severe one and there is complete tearing of ligament and too much pain experienced by the patient. There is severe pain, swelling and bruising. It requires surgery. Here it ends. Thanks.